the two best fighters in the division, pulling it all on the line where others have been reluctant to do so. Fight from America, fight from Britain, putting it all on the line to see who's the best. Big clap right in front of your face, please, mate. This is a special fight week for me just because this is a unification fight, my first unification fight. Fighting another undefeated champion in Sonny Edwards and I'm just excited. I've been training my ass off for a whole 10 weeks and I'm just ready to show the world who I am. It's the biggest night of my life. It's the biggest night of my career. My American debut, of course it's special. The biggest challenge, the biggest build up, the biggest event, what I've been crying and dying for. For this fight, I believe I have to take myself to new training levels just because it's a huge fight. It's a huge opportunity, the biggest fight in my career, biggest fight in my life, and winning this fight can do a whole lot, not only for my career, but for my life in general. I'm more than prepared. I've got the same camp. I've got the same team around me. A few people started camp that haven't made it to the end. If you were to take a look inside my mind right now, you would see Saturday night playing over and over in my head, my hand being raised at the end of the night, and I just can't wait to be victorious come Saturday. I've been anxious for a couple of weeks now, just wanting to go out there and finally put all my hard work to work and just show the world who Bam Rodriguez really is. Calm, I don't get nervous, I get excited. Me turning up to the venue on fight night and walking into the ring is a process that I've been putting myself through since I was nine, 10, 11 years old, over and over and over again. This is all I have, it's all I've ever wanted and it's all I've got. When I was a kid, I always grew up watching the big fights, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and I just saw, you know, the kind of level of fight they were at, the magnitude of those fights, and I feel like this is one of those fights. This is a special night, a special fight, champion versus champion, and this is what boxing is about. People care about this fight. They care about how it's going down. They've got an opinion on it. They've got an opinion on both fighters. There's people that think that I'm easily going to run away with the victory. There's people that think I'm going to get knocked out in six rounds. There's people that think that he's only going to win because I'm going to get robbed on the scorecards. I know I'm good for boxing because boxing is good for me. I believe Bam Rodriguez belongs on this stage because I'm just a star. I was born to be here. I was born to, you know, be in big fights and just be part of big events. And this is nothing new. Come Saturday night, it's just another night to me. They didn't give Bam an opportunity to run away from this fight. They tried. They tried. They can try and say that they didn't, but they tried. They were going to go back up weight. They were looking at uh, other opponents at super flyweight. They were looking to sidestep me. They were making excuses. Oh, well, we have to fight him in America. Oh, oh, he has to wear these sort of gloves. Oh, oh, he has to get in a 16-foot ring. It has to be here. It has to be this time of day. They were doing every single thing they could do to try and find a reason out of this fight. Sonny Overs to me right now, he's um, just another fighter trying to take what I have and another fighter that's in the way of what I want to become. You know, I'm born for these moments, I'm born for these kind of fights and come Saturday night I'll be able to get him out of there. There's no man that walks this earth that strikes fear into my heart. That's outside of a boxing ring, that's outside of a boxing gym. That doesn't exist. I'm the best in the division. So whoever else you're telling me is going to beat me is just the second best in my head. Name one person that's ever give it to me in sparring, in a fight, made me look like the lesser of a fighter in any ring that I've ever been in, even when I'm doing 12 rounds and there's three different people and there was not one name they're gonna come out and confidently say, I've been in a man in a boxing ring, in every single boxing ring I went in, and it continues to this day. Sonny Edwards is described by some as the best pound for pound boxer in this country at the moment. Yesterday we had our first face off, Sonny was a bit late. I don't really care about that to be honest. I mean, that's just on him, I guess. If he wants to be unprofessional, then let him be unprofessional. But I was on time and I was ready, so that says a lot about me. He's uncomfortable around me. He does not like being around me. I'm not a bully, so I will never step on someone's toes that doesn't ask for it. If he wants to say one thing to me, we will lift the lid and we will go there a hundred times over. But he won't. He's a little gimpy 23-year-old kid Yeah, that's still writing love essays on Instagram with his missus. Thank fuck he can fight. I'm not kind of sure what kind of person he is. I'm not even sure if he knows what kind of person he is. Um, on social media, he likes to talk a lot, but when it comes face to face, he don't really say much. Talking about, I'm not sure about who I am. Very, I'm very sure about who I am. I'm consistent in every room I go into. Go and ask Edward Hearn and how many weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks it took to force him into the boxing ring, taking all the other options off the table. It's not be telling me about, I don't know who I am. I'm set on who I am, straight on who I am. Don't get me wrong, he's a great fighter. He's undefeated for a reason, he's champion for a reason. He's a very smart fighter, but um, he hasn't seen anybody like me in a style like mine. He's faced pressure fighters, but you know, they're a bit flat-footed, but 
I apply more pressure than them and in a smarter way with better footwork. So come Saturday night, he's in for a rude awakening. Rodriguez has taken off at the age of 22. He has never beaten a champion. Both world titles he's held above his head come from vacant belts against non-champions. I get in the ring and then for 36 minutes, I make sure that the action I'm in control of, the range I'm in control of, the pace, I'm in control of the scoring, the rhythm, the intensity, I'm in control of. So I'll do whatever I want to do and whatever I fits right at the right time. My brain, my reactions, my wit is way, way streets ahead of anyone else in the boxing world. Since nine years old, my Monday to Sunday was boxing, boxing, boxing. My church, my religion, my center of life has been boxing, nothing else. I don't want to do anything else. That's why no one will beat me. Losing this fight has never crossed my mind. I'm willing to go through whatever. I showed that in my last fight. I fought through a broken jaw for six rounds and I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted that world title, so this is nothing different. Whatever happens in this fight, I'm gonna go through it. Whatever adversity I face, I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna come out victorious. I'm addicted to this. I have nothing else. You trying to drag me away from my professional boxing career and telling me, Sonny, it's time to retire will probably be the hardest conversation I ever have in my life. It's all I've got, all I want. Saturday night, I'm gonna take what he has, take his belt, give Sonny Edwards his first loss, as brutal as boxing is, but that's what's gotta be done. I have a family to feed now, so I'm willing to go through whatever for this victory, and I know I can take it, I know I can win. He thinks me being able to knock him out is laughable. Every person that's ever been in the ring with me knows that I can hit hard. It's pretty funny to me. Um, he don't have the power to knock me out, um, especially not in the first round, so that's just comedy to me. I'm glad that he generally thinks I can't punch harder than him, even though we both stood next to each other. I punched a bag that measures how hard you punch. I can hit hard. I can put people to sleep. I can put people down. I can sit about him as well and have a complete savage fight, taking shots and giving shots all through it. He's lost four or five rounds against sausages, vacants, vacants, easy pick me opponents. I definitely believe this is a fight I end before the 12th round. Everything stacked against me, but that gets my drive up. That's what I live for. The hardest challenges. I don't want easy. I avoid easy. Easy doesn't get me out of bed. Easy doesn't make me go and train. Easy doesn't make me diet. Doesn't think about the fight. Easy does none of those things. Chips stacked against me. Coming here against everything, against the climate, against the altitude, against the air quality, every single thing and I love it. I do not care. It's what I want it. I believe it'll be difficult in the first few rounds just because of movement, but once I figure him out, figure out his patterns and everything like that, I'll just be able to take over the fight. At the end of the fight, I see myself being victorious, my hand raising victory, and me taking his belt back to San Antonio. Bam Rodriguez, unified flyweight champion of the world. Damn, that sounds badass. Sonny Edwards, unified and the new. Sounds good, don't it?